Uh, for you, how has family connected with, uh, how has family marriage connected with everything around yourself yeah. and yeah. Um, and and where you are at right, at right now? Right now. Mm. Yeah, so, um, like you're saying, a, mm. a lot of times when people work on these things, we tend to mm. have different boxes. Mm. That's why you mm. kind of silo your life mm. along those things. Mm. But it, it was interesting that I, I have adopted the orientation of just mm. bringing all of them together mm. and somehow aligning them to mm. what I do. Mm. So um, the person I was married to was also working in the human rights space. Mm. And so um, these, there was a lot of um, interesting conversations mm. and debates about mm. development mm. Um, and, and leadership mm. and you know, human rights and mm. stuff like that. So mm. that was very exciting. Mm. And in that sense, we built each other mm. in, in, mm. in, in mm. that sense. Mm. Um, and and uh, so I did mention that I, I was married, I, or rather I got married in 2007. Mm -hmm. But now towards when the babies came, I think just there was, uh, let me say, things got a little complicated. Mm -hmm. There was, um, there always had been a mental health issue, mm -hmm. but I felt like it just took a different turn mm -hmm. that was very complex mm -hmm. in light of this season that we were in, mm -hmm. um, where there are children. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so it, mm -hmm. it really just began not working out. And we had, I had to make a very difficult decision mm -hmm. um, based on different dynamics. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm, what, 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 when you say mental health, it's a huge, mm -hmm. it's a huge, um, currently in, sure. in, in, in the world and also in our country, Kenya, mm -hmm. it's one of the big issues. What, what, how, how has it presented itself it's in your... Self. I mean, um, so I speak about this because it mm. is uh, public knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, at least from the individual's point of view, mm. he's he, he has um, been bipolar, mm -hmm. and even before we got married, I knew. Uh -huh. And I think there was a discussion um, that about how this was, at least was supposed to play, out. not supposed to play out, but how we were going to manage. Right. So obviously, um, and and so first of all, just mm. to make. Uh, sure that there's no misunderstanding right. is that when we speak about mental health it's not a one size fits all yes mental health is a spectrum of many things yes um, stress is considered mental health yeah to all the other side of the pendulum yeah, yeah. exactly or yeah any other. depression depression yeah. i mean there are several levels yes so um and each of them presents themselves very, very differently yeah. and so my story and what i talk about mm -hmm. does not apply mm -hmm. to all the cases okay but that's um, good to clarify it's mm. good to clarify mm. but also the issue of mental health so in this case it's mm -hmm. bipolar mm -hmm. and bipolar the reason it's bi is mm. because there are almost two personalities mm -hmm. So there is an, or almost two seasons in mm, this person's mm, life. So there are moments mm. when there, there could be lows. Mm -hmm. There are moments when they are okay. Mm. There are moments when they tend to be hypermanic. Okay. And so those manifest mm. on in different people in mm -hmm. different ways. Mm -hmm. And and just um, because it's also a sensitive issue. So mm -hmm. it's a bit of a difficult issue to discuss. Mm -hmm. But um, just to say that um, it, it can be very complex. Mm. Um, but with, you know, clarity mm. on the part of the person that mm. has the condition, mm -hmm. knowing your body system, what mm. are the triggers, mm. it is manageable. Mm -hmm. And also, I guess, the severity of it or right. the conditions of it. Right. So, and, and the, the issue about mental health, and I say at least my, so I speak um, of my experience as a caregiver mm -hmm. and, and the challenges with that. Mm -hmm is that um, so there are many triggers of mm -hmm. mental health it mm -hmm. could be you know hereditary mm -hmm. it could be um, you know from a traumatic experience mm -hmm. it could be um, for example just your own you know genetic makeup which is hereditary mm -hmm. and or it could be triggered by something mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um, that that may not have been there before mm. but something that just unexpectedly happens right and many other things right right and so it, it's very crucial at least from my understanding mm -hmm. to know mm. what 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 are some of the predispositions that mm -hmm. somebody has mm. what may have because it, in fact doctors say nobody is born mm. you may be there may be hereditary mm. issues mm. 
and 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 but that means you are predisposed more than somebody who doesn't have that hereditary mm-hmm. issue but understanding that can help you manage better mm. so that this issue doesn't become mm. uh, it doesn't get out of hand mm. all right mm-hmm. and there are times when uh, i mean it swings and mm. it really get is from not, end of the pendulum to yeah, the end of the pendulum and it's not in anyone's control mm. so um so we had this discussion mm. and i knew from the beginning mm-hmm. um and for me i mean the way i was brought up is love is unconditional mm. and and as long as there's there's a clear understanding mm. i mean you support people because if i was the one i mm. would want my friends mm. to treat me as it's like when you have a disability you don't want people describing you by the sense of that which you don't have because you have many other things mm. i guess that's the reason why the bible talks about fearfully and wonderfully made <laughs> because all of us have our fearful side fearful side and exactly mm. and our wonderful side mm-hmm. So it just happens that some of them are more pronounced than mm. the others. Mm. So we did have a discussion. I mm. remember the doctor calling me and said, "Do you really understand?" Mm. And we talked about what are the triggers, mm. what are the things we need to look out for. Mm. And of course, it's a journey. Mm. So this, when you first live with somebody mm. and and it happens, mm. it's not as when you're a friend and you went to visit in hospital. Mm. Mm. So there were those dynamics, but there is grace mm. because it's an illness. Mm. Um however as as time progressed I I there were moments when I started feeling like um an evidence there's evidence to that in in, in my view mm. that it it now was yes there's there's the natural side of things that are taking their course mm. but it looks like there's there's a place where um there isn't the effort mm. to try and manage mm. And I say this because in the first this long period of seven years where we didn't have children, mm. we had two episodes, and then we, that that uh, were crazy, mm. but were okay mm. in the sense that there was just grace to deal with it, mm. and 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 support. Mm-hmm. And and the doctor, you know, he just called and said, you know, this if if we really don't manage this, it's it's only a matter of time before it gets out of hand. Mm. and we agreed on certain things like what do we monitor mm. so usually in in our case it was what are the biological things that we notice is there maybe a, a sudden increase in appetite or mm. or is there an obsession with something or right. is there a lack of sleep those biological things mm. is there for example a traumatic so for this for this uh, case it was a lot of the national issues that happened are a really big trigger mm. so um, managing those and, mm. and and the doctor giving us an open door mm. that if if we feel if i feel mm. as a caregiver mm. that um something is getting out of hand mm. i can call mm-hmm. and i got let me call it permission mm. because you see mm. if you're the person dealing with this mm. it just because you're married to someone doesn't give you the right to run their mm, lives so mm. you you kind of have to have come to that agreement mm-hmm. and for the time that we came to that agreement mm. um we spent almost 3 4 5 years mm. without a major mm. episode right. because we would deal with it before it becomes fully mm. fully blown mm. and that was enjoyable mm. and easy to support each other mm. and that's what people do in mm. relationships mm. Uh, but a time came when i started feeling that that effort isn't really isn't really going mm. and the cooperation just wasn't there mm. and i mean things just completely got out of hand mm. and here i am with small babies mm. and having to deal with mega issues of mm. never sleeping mm. because this this you know uh, trigger an mm. episode and it would go on for months mm. and it was just so mm. um it got to the point where it it became um difficult mm. but also exhausting but mm. also um i needed to make a choice mm. whether i wasn't also compromising mm. my health mm-hmm. and my sense of um i mean particularly because now i'm a mom mm. to these two girls yeah and and um, yeah so the relationship deteriorated mm. and uh, there was a bit of uh, not a bit but um it just it, it became very complex mm. the support system um mm. so I, i usually say when i and actually this is the first time i'm publicly speaking about this mm. but um, i usually say that mental health now at least with the knowledge i have mm. is not like a broken arm mm. where you know it is this bro- bone that broke mm-hmm. 
there's a cast mm. and this is how we are dealing with it and there's pain to mm. show you that mm. something needs to be done mm. right mm. mental health is 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 anything but i mean it's it's just so complex mm. and so uh, you can tell someone that you know what things are getting out of hand mm. and they will not have the sense to know because there's no pain mm. they they are not they, and it increasingly gets to the point where the awareness now completely even goes about what's going on mm. now um it now borders on if nothing is done mm. you're bordering on now putting yourselves at risk mm. right mm -hmm. so the support system and, and and the thing about let's say the mental health as opposed to an, an injury mm. is that um you know whereas you're fully responsible for your broken arm mm. uh, mental health is different you have got everyone has to be on board mm. and everybody needs to hold their part for this to work mm so it it has to be from people you don't even want to involve like mm. extended family mm. to yourselves to the from the nuclear to the extended right and if those two are not in in there's a disconnect there mm. you are sunk mm. because if this person yes will take their medication and people think that if you take medication mm. it will be sorted but mm. that's not the case mm. if you take medication but you are in your stressors mm. you continue engaging with your stressors mm. it's a it cycle continue mm. if if you come and and there are, there are people enabling certain habits mm. and behaviors mm. that are not helpful mm. to what you need to be doing mm. and and the point is this person needs to work a little harder than mm. other people mm. to maintain mm. their sense of mm. normality mm. so uh, and and when that wasn't there mm. i mean it just completely got out of hand mm. Mm. and so it wasn't sustainable mm. and eventually in 20 20 mm. we did a formal separation mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. so that has been my journey mm. so this whole mm. time of second baby mm. phd mm. is amidst those circumstances amidst those circumstances it was, it was and beyond that so during covid it's it's no it's, during covid now yeah. just as covid was starting that's when the separation Se happened. the separation is, has yeah. happened during yeah. that period yeah.